Hey everyone, this is Ken Horowitz from Sega16.com. Just want to share something with you that, while it may not be video game related, it's kind of near and dear to me, something I've been doing since I was a kid along with video game collecting. And that's comic books. Uh, been a big comic book fan since I was about 12 years old. Used to have about 5,000 comic books. But over time, they got too expensive, tastes changed, market changed. I got out of it. Decided to dedicate myself to video gaming, but I've been getting back into it, especially trade paperbacks and graphic novels, which are a lot easier to, to find and to maintain. Uh, my local comic book store isn't exactly local, so I've done most of my purchases on eBay and on Amazon. And uh, that's where I get most of my stuff nowadays. Uh, so yeah, I've been doing a lot of buying that way. And I've managed to put together a pretty nice little collection. Got a lot of uh, series and stuff that I'm still working on here. Missing volumes here and there and stuff. But I have managed to finish quite a bit. So I'm kind of happy about that. And I'll go over those in a second so you can see exactly which ones... I'm uh, working on here. Okay, so starting from the top over here, I've got the oversized Marvel graphic novels. I've got a couple of them, like Emperor Doom and and uh, the Vault. I've also got Punisher, Return to Big Nothing. Got a couple of these. Um, I like them. I didn't like them at first because I thought the size was too big, but uh, after a while they kind of grow on you. And I'm pretty fond of them, so. We got some Avengers here. Uh, I'm basically collecting all stories from the 70s, 80s, and up to the mid-90s. Nothing really after the mid-90s. Very few things. I've got a couple, like Illuminati and things like that, but that's about it. Uh, working on that Daredevil Frank Miller collection. I still need Volume 3, which for some reason or another does not appear anywhere. I've got... Burns entire run on the Fantastic Four. All I need is Volume Three to finish off Walt Simonson's. Then back over here, starting to get together uh, Hulk Visionaries, Peter David's. I got Volume One, Volume One and Volume Two are on the way, and they're in the mail. I got Volume Three here, and only about four more to finish that one. Working on some Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine. I've got Volume 7 of the, the New Mutant second, uh, third series on its way. I'm going to start collecting the original. I do have the graphic novel there. It's in uh, prestige format, though, not the oversized one. Both Secret Wars. Secret Wars 2 sucked big time, but the crossover issues in the Omnibus are worth getting because there were a lot of good issues, good stories. The actual series sucked, but the crossover issues were great. Working on my Spider-Man. Got the Birth of Venom. The graphic novels, that includes Hookie and a couple of others. Marvel Team-Up. Nothing Can Stop the Juggernaut, which is awesome. Starting the, new, the Teen Titans. X-Men is up here because, and j along with Silver Surfer, because the books are just huge. Look at that. These are, I mean, they're just really, really big. And then down here, uh, I've got four out of five of Simonson's volumes on Thor. Need volume two of the Thing Classic. Got my Watchman, some Wolverine, George Perez's run on on uh, Wonder Woman, which is great. Starting on that. Got my Days of Futures Present, Days of Futures Past, Dark Phoenix Saga, Fall of the Mutants which is pretty expensive nowadays um, for some reason or other God Loves Man Kills I need volume 2 of X-Men The Hidden Years I'm working to tie that together between uh, the, the new X-Men and the original X-Men Masterworks uh, I have two volumes of that so I want to get those together Life Death Long Shots miniseries Mutant Massacre versus the Avengers and the Fantastic Four Extinction Agenda. So yeah, I've got a it's a small collection of graphic novels and trades that I'm slowly working on. 
I like them better than the comics, to be honest, because they just look so much cooler on the shelf. And because they are just so much more manageable. Comic books are just not really something that I can manage anymore. So I don't have the space, really. I mean, if you look around this game room here. Hey, dog. You know, I've got uh, just every inch of the wall is covered. So this bookcase is a little bit too small already. I'm going to have to replace it with a with one that probably goes up to the ceiling. I'm going to get some shelves in here and replace these bookcase, this bookcase right here. But uh, for the time being, it's doing the job. So uh, there is my comic collection. If uh, any of you like comic books as well, please let me know. Please give the video a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Check you later.